Hello, everybody. Um, you've reached Sound the Alarm. My name is Lakeisha, and I want to um, share a dream. With, oh my gosh, I want to share a dream with you guys. The Lord gave me. Um, I do talk kind of fast, so sometimes I may stumble over my words. Um, so please bear with me with that. But nonetheless, I want to share this dream the Lord gave me um, with you guys. And before I say anything, I just want the body of Christ as a whole to wake up. Okay. You know, and I'm a part of the body of Christ. And trust me, when I say the body of Christ to wake up, that means anything in me that's sleeping, what am I holding on to? You know, am I holding on to unforgiveness? Wake up, stop sleeping. Because we know what the word of God says. We know that, that we know that if we don't forgive, then how can he forgive us, right? So whatever is in me that's sleeping, you know, it's time to wake up. You know, if I'm dealing with lying, if I'm dealing with sexual immorality, whatever I'm dealing with, whatever you dealing with, wake up, stop sleeping. Jesus come back soon. He's speaking. He's been speaking. You know, if you guys haven't even in real life, I mean, 2020 already has literally guys, we're in the end times. And yes, I know 20 years ago, they said this uh, during Jesus time. I understand all of those things, but you know, for them, it was, it was for them, it was their end time. Okay. But for us, it's our, it's, it's the end times. Like, I mean, <sighs> he's coming back and it's, it's a, it's, it's something that, you know, you just know it's like a, a it's almost like an, uh, it's an alarm. It's like, he's just saying like, the Lord told me, he said, warn the people he's, he's been told me this. Okay. He said, warn the people um, sound the alarm, you know? So, so he gave me a dream, um, October 29th, 2020. All right. So, um, the dream the Lord gave me now, again, right now is October 31st because I work as a nurse overnight in New Jersey. And so, because I'm overnight, it's the next, you know, and I think it's probably close. It's almost three o'clock in the morning. Okay. So the dream the Lord gave me, here we go. So I had a dream and in the dream I saw in front of me, I saw like some things may make sense to you guys and some things may not, but I'm going to just tell you exactly, exactly what I saw. All right. So in the dream, I saw these people. Okay. I'm talking about like the way, the, the best way, sorry, I'm looking the best way that I can describe what I saw is um, just lawlessness, guys. I'm talking like horrible. Like, I mean, I saw like a lot of people just um, being very, they were really, 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 really angry. I mean, like ang ang anger times like this, you know how, what we see going on now, right? But this was like way worse. This was like, they was, they didn't have, they didn't have, they didn't care about any body's life. They really just didn't care. Um, I didn't see the, the police anywhere. This was more or less like they were just, it was almost like they was fighting. It was just horrible, y'all. Like it was like, it was just like, see, I'm going to tell you something. We see things on TV. We see things, um, you know, but when it's right in front of you, people don't really pay attention to something that's like right in front of them. Okay. And this was like right in front of me. All right. So I saw that these people, they had guns, they had, um, some, they had, I've seen the mask, you know, we have to all wear the mask, right? You know, I'm a nurse, so we always have to wear the mask. So they had masks on their face, not so much like these ones, but they had masks on their face, like the ones you see around and they were yelling, they were screaming. I mean, all just utter chaos. Okay. And, um, I remember seeing in the midst of all this, I remember seeing like, like red, but, but it was more or less like, like maybe things was burning, you know? Um, and just, just, a, it was almost like they was at our door, but I mean, I didn't really see a door, but it was almost like they, it was almost like they were right in front of where we lived. Okay. Now, again, I can't, I, I didn't see a house, but I'm just telling you how I felt in the dream. So it was me. And I remember my daughter and I remember my sister was there too. Her name is Shellery, okay? And um, I remember, um, like, I remember, I remember, and Holy Ghost, please help me. 
help me to give this dream just how you gave it to me, Lord. Um, so I remember um, with all the cats, and they, they were they were throwing things. They were throwing, I'm talking about like maybe rocks and things like that. I mean, they was just throwing things, right? And so my sister, now I'm watching this, like I'm I'm watching this. I'm to the right, I'm, excuse me, I'm to the right of my sister and she's over the left and my little, my three-year-old's in the middle. So my sister started taking out, this is not going to make sense. And I don't know, I don't interpret dreams. This is just what I, what I saw. So my sister had like some, um, balloons full of water right so she was taking these 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 water balloons and she was throwing it at them now remind you they're throwing things at her and so she or throwing things our way i don't remember them throwing things at me but i know that I, but it was like god was letting me see this okay so i'm sure they was throwing them at me too but he was allowing me to see what was taking place so my sister took um her um the water balloons that she was throwing them at them and so they took the water balloons and they started throwing them back now, um, one of them had hit my, my three-year-old and my three-year-old, she fell back. Right. And so I'm like, Oh my God. So I, I go to my, my three-year-old and I pick her up and she was fine. Um, and I don't know what they were saying to my sister or my sister was saying to them. I don't know, but I remember me saying something to them concerning, con uh, pertaining to my daughter. But the thing is, this: God doesn't want us to, um, the Bible says we rest on against flesh and blood. Okay. That is in the, that's in the book of Ephesians. Okay. It talks about that. But I'm just saying, this is what, what, what took place. Okay. And I remember, um, and I don't remember like, this is the part I'm having a hard time with. I don't know if, so there was a guy, okay. I, I, the guy I knew, but I couldn't tell you who he was, but I knew him. Okay. In the dream, in the, in the dream, I knew him. So he handed the, the guy, now he was already dressed in his like army, you know, like his army, um, fatigues. I used to be in the military. He had on his, um, army fatigue. So the, so he handed me, um, a set of army fatigues. Okay. The ones that the army way, the, 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 the ones that the army wear. It, it's the ones that has the, um, the greens in it, not the, um, the other one that has the more beige look. I'm not talking about that one. I'm talking about the green, the army green fatigues, the ones that you guys see with the pattern. Okay. So with that, I remember that he handed it to me, but I'm going to tell you something, y'all, this is the truth. He handed me that and then I noticed that I didn't have shoes on my feet. Listen, I didn't have no shoes on my feet. Y'all hear that sound? I didn't have no shoes on my feet. So was I really ready? I wasn't ready, right? Now he gave me the, 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 the uniform. I remember I had put that on and I noticed that I didn't have any shoes. I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have no shoes. So then I went and I, um, I, there, like, I noticed that to the right of me, there were some, um, there were a lot of shoes. Now, listen, none of them were boots, but there were, they were shoes. Okay. Now they didn't match the, um, they wasn't going to necessarily match my, um, my army fatigues, but who cares? Right. They were some shoes. I mean, it would have been better to have boots, but it's okay. I don't really understand. <laughs> Sorry. I'm kind of goofy. I didn't really understand that part, but nonetheless, that's what that was. All right. So, um, after that, I heard someone say, um, now again, this is, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm piecing it all together, like chronological order. I can't really remember, but please just, just get, just please just get this part of the dream that the Lord gave me because I, it, it means something. Um, there's, I know it's very prophetic. I don't miss, I'm not a, I'm not an interpreter of dreams, but, um, if God gives you something and you feel like his, he, he gave you the interpretation, please comment, let me know. But, um, but nonetheless, and they said, um, they said, Hey, such and such has been shot. And it was a girl's name. I can't think of her name, but it started with a T like, um, I can't, I don't even want to mess it up, but it was something like, uh, something with a T her name started with a T and I said, Oh, okay. And the girl is funny because when I say funny, it's like, it's like, I didn't really know this girl, but when they said she was shot, it affected me. So I remember meaning when I say it affected me, I was like, Oh, I was concerned. Like, you know, let me, let's go. Let me go check on her. So I went to the girl and I went to go check on the girl. And when I went to go check on the girl, sure enough, she had a, a her, she had a, a, a head wound. So she had got shot in her head. Okay. And so, um, I was concerned, obviously it's a head wound. And, um, I, to the girl, I was like, I didn't want to make a scene because I didn't want to scare her because, you know, you get shot in the head. I mean, that's pretty much a death sentence right there because it's something that, you know, you have your brain in there, you know? And so, um, but I didn't like react because I didn't want to scare her. So, um, I went to the girl's side or I went and I was, 
think I had sat next to the girl and um, and I was talking to the girl. I grabbed I grabbed the girl's hand. Right. I grabbed her hand and I and I and I just was like, oh, I said, oh, to ta Tanisha or it's so old something, you know, and um, and I was like, well, I said, let's pray. And so I began to pray and I began to lead that girl in, in, into um, the sinner's prayer. And that girl, she gave her life to Jesus. OK. Um, and what I remember is like the girl, I was telling her, I said, Hey, I said, um, I said, I'm seeing, I said, I'm seeing a baby. Cause I begin as I'm praying for her and led her to the sinner's prayer. Um, now let me back up a little bit before I started leading her to the sinner's prayer. She was saying that she's like, I'm starting to see, she said, I'm fading off. She said, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see like black or I'm starting to see darkness or something. She was saying, I'm starting to see darkness or something like, it was like, she was like, she was losing her vision. Okay. And so I said, well, let me, I said, let's, let's do the sinner's prayer. So we did the sinner's prayer. She gave her life to Jesus right there. And then, um, I remember that as I'm like, after I finished praying for her or even while I was praying for her, something like that, I saw like a, um, a picture of a baby. I don't know. I don't understand it, but that's what I saw. And I told her, I said, I said, Hey, I said, I'm seeing a, um, I'm seeing a, a, a picture I'm seeing a baby, like I'm seeing a, you know, and, um, and she was just like, it, it, it wasn't really, um, like resonate, you know, that's, a, it wasn't really, um, something that she could really, it, it didn't relate to her, I, I felt, but I don't know. That's just what she was like. Oh, okay. But then she started to fade off. Now I didn't see her die, but I'm assuming she died. Okay. But the Lord equipped me you know, and I, um, I gave, I was, I was, I led her to the Lord. Okay. And so, um, so then that's, that scene like had switched. And I remember I saw, um, it's like the scene switch. And then I, I saw off in the distance, like I'm looking over like the city. And when I'm looking over the city, I just saw smoke and I'm not, I don't know what city it was, but because it was more, I mean, it was a, a big area, but I just, it was a, when I said a big area, I mean, it was a, a broad area. Okay. And, um, I was able to see over, I was able to look, look over, like just see it. And it, there was smoke that was coming from the city. Now, again, I had already told you guys at the beginning that there was there, I knew there was fire things being burned because of, um, because of just, it was like red. It was just such a horrible horrible scene because like there was no there was no love it was only hate there these people were um just oh man you guys like I mean I felt like it was right at the door you know what I mean when I say right at the door it was like up front and I feel like you know um well I mean continue and so then I remember um then I was I was taken to another another part of the dream right and so this time I literally saw, now you guys know, like when the building is being, um, getting ready to be made, right. The foundation is laid first. And after the foundation is, is laid, then they start having like different, um, they have like these little, these metal things. That's like, that's kind of erected out of the, the concrete some kind of way. And so, excuse me. So, excuse me, sorry about that, but it was erected up out of the, um, the concrete. And you know, it's like the, it's what I'm saying is it's the, the, it's like, I don't know what they're called, but they're kind of like about that. Maybe, let me see, maybe about like that. This don't even look right. Never mind. It doesn't make sense. I can't even do it. But I was trying to like say um, the concrete, you know, like I was trying to, I was trying to do like the little circle to tell you guys, to show you guys how, how big, right. But anyways, it didn't work out, but they, they're really thick. It's kind of like, you know, when they're, when they're laying bricks, you know, when you lay bricks, right. On the foundation or bricks through that metal. So they, they take the brick, the, the, the cement block and they put it on and they put another one like that. Okay. But there was no seat. There was no cement blocks on this at all. It was just a foundation. And then these, it was people that were dressed in, it was people you would not even expect. Okay. It was people like, um, I would say clergymen or people dressed in suits. Like it was even like a, a Y'all, I'm just being, it looked like it was even like maybe like maybe a, um, a pastor out there, you know, like sometimes pastors wear those, like, um, maybe those, um, robes, like something like that. 
but I saw people of all color, okay, out there, um, and literally like taking their, like their, like their, 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 their they had things in their hands. I know, um, trying to destroy these metal, um, these metal things sticking out the, out the seat, out the foundation. They were literally trying to destroy that. I mean, hard. I mean, like just going like, boom, like, boom, like, Boom, you know, just trying to just trying so hard to 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 destroy this these metal things so that no, I mean, y'all, like it, it was a horrible like scene. And when I say horrible, because it's like I'm watching them and I'm like, now why are they um why like I just it, it was just 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 difficult because it was just people you wouldn't even think, y'all. I'm telling you, they was out there it, and they was surrounding this whole foundation. And they were literally trying to destroy the metal things that was sticking up out of the um, out of the foundation. And um, and I remember. So I that so that's something I remember. And um, and I like I said I don't know the actual like order of the, the dream. Um, it could have even been a vision. I don't know, but I feel like maybe it was a dream. But I know the dream was prophetic, and I know it's from the Lord. And um, all I'm saying that was that was the um the that that dream that the Lord gave me. Now um I just I, I I um I'm just I really want us to be ready. Um and what I say ready is we the way the world is right now, you guys can see it, it's it's um it's not going good. And um and you know, only God knows, you know. But I'm just, we just need to be, we need to be prayed up, be ready for battle. And I'm talking about spiritual warfare battle, okay? We need to be prayed up, ready for spiritual warfare battle. Be, be ready at all times. Put on the whole armor of God daily, 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 okay? Um, and for those that are sleeping in the body of Christ, you need to wake up. This is not the time to play with God. This is not the time to be sleeping, it's time for us to wake up and it's time for us to stand and it's time for us to fight. You know, I believe it was in the book of Ezekiel. And he said, um, I think the Lord had showed him, took him to like a field and showed him an uh, empty field. And it had a lot of um, like dead, like bones, dry bones, dead bones, like people, like nothing. It was just dead. Okay. And um, I don't really know what this is in the book of Ezekiel. I believe it's Ezekiel. I don't know exactly where it's at, but um, please search it, look it up, put it in Google. You'll be able to find it, um, you know. And um, he said, um, he said, son of man, can these bones live? And he asked Ezekiel and Ezekiel said, oh, Lord, oh, he said, Lord, he said, Lord, thou knowest. And then um, again, I believe he asked him that question again. And then I believe Ezekiel told him the same thing. Lord, thou, oh, he said, Lord, only thou knowest or something like that. And he said, he told, then, then the Lord told him to prophesy to those bones um, that they will, that they arise, right? It was something like that. It's really powerful. And um, that the breath prophesy that the breath, that the breath can get into them. And then, so all I know is in the, in with that um, vision the Lord gave him is he saw breath coming to them and then they became they became um like you know whole and they walked from what i remember and so what i'm saying to to the body of christ is we need to get up and we need to walk and we have to be ready number one it's time to um start preparing your hearts examine yourself ask god lord what is it about me god what is it in me that displeases you god what is it in me god that 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 you you know, God, what am I rapture ready, Lord? Am am I rapture ready, God? If I'm not rapture ready, Father God, please reveal those things to me so that so that I can be made whole, so that I can give these things to you to help me with. There are some things that we're struggling with that God is very much aware of, but I'm looking at the time. But there's some things that we're struggling with that God is very much aware of, but and He wants to remove those things out of our life. But he wants to hear it from us. You know, the Bible says, well, I, confess your sins. If you confess your sins, he is faithful and just to forgive you, to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So those things that you're dealing with, tell God about them. Just say, Lord, 
because he already knows anyway. So you might as well tell him he's a loving, he's a loving father. Tell the, the Bible says to make your requests known to God. He that come to God must come believing that he is and that he is a reward to those that diligently seek him. He says, draw nigh to me. If you draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. He said, resist the devil and he will flee from you. No greater love than a man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. The Lord has laid down his life for you. If you were the only one, he would have laid down his life just for you. So if you're watching this video, it is not by accident. He loves you very much. And um, just watch and pray. These times we need to be prayerful. These times we need to be seeking his face. We need to worship him. We need to pour our love on him. We need to seek his face like never before. And we need to ask him, God, examine me. See if there be any any wicked way in me. Lord, Lord um, what's that scripture? It says, um, God created me, created me a, a clean heart and renew a right, a right spirit within me. He will do just that. He's just waiting on you to ask him. I pray that this video um, has been a blessing to you. I pray this video has encouraged you. I pray that this video has helped you to get up. Son of man, can these, can these bones live again? Yes. Prophesy. Prophesy to those things that are in your life that are, that, are, that are dead. Prophesy to those things that are in your life that need to be fanned into flame. He says, fan into flame the gifts of God. The gifts of God that are in you. It's a scripture like that. Fan those things into flame. Don't allow, don't allow the what God has put in you to die. No, you prophesy to that thing, and you you tell that thing. You say, said you. This is what you you speak against those things. You say, I am I am the head, and I am not the tail. I am above, and I am not beneath. I am not a liar in the mighty name of Jesus. I am not a person that sits and watch pornography. I am not the you know prophesy prophesy the bible says to encourage yourself in the lord begin to encourage yourself prophesy start start saying those things that you want to see change in your life prophesy to those dead bones prophesy have you been sleeping prophesy against that the lord he he's he he's literally waiting just to hear from you he's waiting if you guys only knew how how much the Lord just loves us. I mean, and you know, and I'm not saying that, you know, and when I say if we if we only knew, it's because his love cannot, it can't really be, it can't be measured. You know, his his um guys, the Lord is his love is just so we can't even understand it. I'm going to tell you guys something and I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. So some year, well, no, not years ago. Um, maybe, maybe a year and a half ago, something like that. I'm not sure. God knows, but, um, I was in prayer and, and we would have prayer at my, at our house and we would, um, have different friends come over and we'd pray. And the Lord, I was on my knees before the Lord and, we're and I was praying. And um, and I'm telling you, I began to weep. I began to just like cry. And the Lord, he spoke to me and he told me, he said, he said, I, he, oh, he said, he said, he, I, and I don't know the exact words, but he, in the, he just let me know that he was allowing me to feel how he feels like a part of a part. Okay. He said a part of how he feels in his heart. And, um, and I'm going to tell you right now, like the burden that the Lord has, the burden that he carries, you know, um, and it was just a little bit, it was a part and I could barely take it because like, um, the pain of it, you know, man, I just pray this, this blesses you guys. The Lord loves us so much. He's married to the backslider, backslider, come back, come back. Because here is the thing, time is running out. 
it's running out. You got people that saying time, ha there is no more time. You There's videos that say that, you know, and um, that just let you know that his return is imminent. All of this, what we have is just grace. It is his grace. That's it. It is his grace and it's his love. He's crying out and he just wants, he just wants the world to accept him. That's all. And the thing is, it's like, you know, like with Noah, right? In the ark. It was just Noah's family that was saved, y'all, from the ark. That was it. God destroyed the whole, he destroyed the whole earth. He did. Everybody, I mean, he destroyed it. And every every person, every, they were dead. All of them died. Okay? And we know from the book of Revelations, we know, even in Matthew, we know God is, I don't know, if it's, does it say that in Matthew? Maybe it's just in the book of Revelations. I can't remember, but I know that it's going to happen again. And... To go, to just the goal to show you like how many will be saved. Listen, the Bible says broad is the road that leads to destruction. Now, I don't know exactly how the scripture is laid out, but I know that hell is broad, broad is the road that leads to destruction. And narrow is the way that leads to eternal life. I believe it's, it's, it's something like that. And few find it. you find it Lord Jesus help us I'm just gonna say a prayer guys and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, close this okay choose Jesus today the time is running out I pray that that um, dream bless you I pray that it open your eyes and see the times that we're living in now I know that there are riots happening, but I'm I'm giving you what God gave me. And it was to me, I felt like it was way worse. There oh, there were no cops. I forgot to say that there was no cops anywhere. These people were just allowed to do what they were doing. Okay. So Father God, I just praise your holy name and I, and I bless you for your love and your grace and your mercy for us, God. Lord Jesus, we thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. God, we just ask God, and I'm reading, if you want to, this is the sinner's prayer, just agree with me and say these things. Father God, we know God and we be, we believe that you send Jesus Christ to the earth down the cross for our sins, God. We recognize ourselves as sinners, God, and we are in need of a Savior. Jesus, please come into our heart and we want and be our Lord and Savior. We ask that you will forgive all of our sins, all of our sins, and make us new in you. Make us new in you. And we also ask that you will fill us with your precious Holy Spirit, God. And God, please also, God, baptize us with your Holy Spirit, God, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, Lord God. Lord, and I just, I just thank you, God, for everyone that's watching this video, Lord God. And I just pray, God, that that you would minister to the hearts, Father God, that you would minister to the hearts, God. And I ask, God, that you would take out the stony heart and put in the heart of flesh, Lord Jesus. I ask, God, that that he that is, what is that, what is the, um, you know how you would say, God, go your way and sin no more. So I'm saying to you guys, go your way and sin no more. Um, that isn't to say that, that isn't to say that we won't stand and fall short of God's glory. No, you don't stay in your sin. You don't waddle in your sin. You allow God to purge and to remove these things out of our life. But nonetheless, guys, I just want you to know that I love you. And God bless you and um, that, oh, man, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, God bless you. Jesus loves you and so do me. No, that's not right either. I'm so goofy. Can't get it right. Um, but nonetheless, guys, be blessed.